Hi, I'm Chris Mutchler, VCDX257 from virtualelephant.com, and today we're going to delve into the topic of risk analysis as it pertains to the TOGAF and VCDX frameworks. Being able to perform a comprehensive risk analysis and develop a mitigation strategy is a crucial skill for all enterprise architects. In this video, I will highlight the crucial success factors and phases as you go through this process to create a risk analysis, understand the risks within your enterprise architectures, and develop mitigation strategies for those identified risks. Let's get started. When analyzing the technology landscape, it's important to consider various aspects that can pose risks to your architecture vision. Let's examine some critical factors and associated risks. Outdated technologies, technology dependencies, interoperability challenges, emerging technologies, and technology obsolescence. Legacy systems or outdated technologies can present risks in terms of compatibility, supportability, and scalability. Consider the risk of relying on outdated technologies, including potential difficulties in integrating them with modern systems, limited availability of skilled resources, and increased vulnerability to security threats. Identify risks associated with dependencies on specific technologies, platforms, or vendors. Consider the potential impact if a critical technology component becomes obsolete, experiences compatibility issues, or if the vendor's support is discontinued. Mitigate these risks by diversifying technology options or establishing contingency plans. The integration of diverse systems and technologies may introduce risks related to interoperability. Identify potential risks such as data inconsistencies, communication failures, or incompatible interfaces between systems. Assess the impact of these risks on the overall architecture and plan for appropriate mitigation measures. While embracing emerging technologies can provide opportunities, it also brings inherent risks. Assess the risks associated with adopting new and relatively untested technologies. Consider factors such as the maturity of the technology, potential compatibility issues with existing systems, and the availability of skilled resources for the implementation and lifecycle activities. Plan for the risks of technology obsolescence as rapid advancements in technology can render current solutions outdated. Identify the potential risks of investing in technologies that may become obsolete in the near future. Establish strategies to monitor technological advancements and incorporate future-proofing measures into your architecture. Now that we have identified the various aspects that can introduce risks into your enterprise architectures, let's look at how you assess risks. In this phase, we evaluate the identified risks based on their potential impact and probability of occurrence. This assessment allows us to determine the severity of each risk and prioritize them accordingly within the architecture development process following the TOGAF and VCDX frameworks. The TOGAF Architecture Development Model, or ADM, utilizes the following steps. These steps are relevant to the VCDX certification and can be leveraged in a similar manner. 1. Impact Assessment Evaluate the potential impact of each identified risk on the architecture development process. Consider factors such as cost, alignment with business goals, service level agreement impact, and operational complexity. Assess how each risk may affect the overall success of the architecture. 2. Probability Assessment Determine the likelihood or probability of each risk occurring. Analyze historical data, expert judgment, and external factors such as skill levels to gauge the probability accurately. This step helps us understand the chances of the risk materializing. And three, severity determination. Combine the impact and probability assessments to determine the overall severity of each risk. Assign a severity level to prioritize the risk effectively. This allows us to focus on addressing the risks that have the highest impact and likelihood of occurrence. By following these steps, we can gain valuable insights into the potential risks associated with the architecture development process. Once we have assessed the risks, 
The next phase is determine the risk mitigation approach. This phase focuses on developing strategies and actions to reduce or eliminate the impact of the identified risks. To define a risk mitigation approach effectively, we utilize the following steps within the TOGAF and VCDX frameworks. 1. Prioritize risks. Based on the severity determined during the risk assessment phase, prioritize the risks. Focus on the high priority risks that pose the greatest potential impact on the architecture development process and align with business objectives. 2. Mitigation strategies. Develop specific strategies and actions to address each high priority risk. Consider preventative measures, alternative approaches, risk transfer, or contingency plans. The goal is to reduce the likelihood and impact of risks, ensuring a more robust enterprise architecture. 3. Documentation and communication. Document the risk mitigation approach, including the strategies, actions, and controls to be implemented. Clearly outline the responsibilities and timelines for each mitigation measure. Communicate the approach to stakeholders, ensuring alignment and shared understanding of the risk mitigation efforts. The final phase of risk analysis within the TOGAF and VCDX frameworks is to implement, monitor, and review the risk mitigation measures. This phase focuses on integrating the defined risk mitigation approach into the overall enterprise architecture and continuously monitoring its effectiveness. To effectively accomplish this final phase, we utilize the, fi the following steps. Integration and implementation. Integrate the defined risk mitigation approach into the enterprise architecture. Modify the architecture plan, adjust resource allocation, implement security measures, or introduce contingency plans as required. Ensure that the mitigation measures are actively implemented during the execution of the architecture. Continuous monitoring. Continuously monitoring the, the effectiveness of the implemented risk mitigation measures. Regularly reassess risks and adjust mitigation strategies as needed. Keep a close eye on the evolving technology landscape, regulatory changes, and external factors that may impact the identified risks. And finally, lessons learned. Document lessons learned from the risk analysis and mitigation efforts. Share these lessons with stakeholders in the architecture team to improve future risk management practices. Incorporate the lessons learned step into the maturity assessment phase of the architecture lifecycle process. By following these steps within the final phase, we ensure that the risk mitigation measures are effectively implemented, monitored, and continuously improved throughout the lifecycle of the enterprise architecture. You now have a solid understanding of how to identify risks and create a mitigation strategy as it relates to the VCDX and TOGAF frameworks. Remember, by identifying risks, creating a mitigation strategy, and effectively communicating these risks to your stakeholders, you'll be able to more effectively create enterprise architectures that will be robust and capable of meeting all of your business objectives and needs. If you liked this video, please consider liking and commenting below and smashing that subscribe button so you can see all of my content as it's delivered in the future. Thanks.